Welcome to the Everything Yachting YouTube channel. Our goal is to help yacht buyers, yacht owners, and yacht sellers through interesting, educational, and informative discussions on topics that are anything and everything yachting related. All right, uh, welcome back again to uh our explanation of how we get the engine started and how we get prepared to get underway. Again, we're on the uh, beautiful 2020 66E Magic, and it's uh, gonna be a great day. We're gonna go out for a little boat ride. So we've already done our engine room check. We've already started our generator, and we just got done pulling in the shore power cords. We have just start, you know, turned on all of our breakers up above here. We've turned on our main batteries. We've turned on our steering pumps. Uh, and just confirming that everything is powered up here. Electronics are starting to come online and we're now getting ready to start up the boat. So you can see we have our, um, these are Glendenny controls. We said the word Glendenny before, that's a manufacturer that makes a cable master and makes these throttles and controls. So here's our throttles here. This is our transmission. All I'm doing is making sure that this is lit up. Sometimes it'll flash, sometimes it won't be on at all. There's typically a magic little button right down in here that is a little breaker that's right here. So there's a little breaker that's down here. And if that's off, you see that go off? Mm -hmm. There's been many early morning phone calls of people going, these won't come on. Something is wrong. Something has happened. You know, I've torn apart the engine room and I'm trying to figure out where it is. And you would be amazed at how many times I have the owner or captain walk up here and open this magic little door and turn on that breaker because maybe someone shut off the boat that didn't turn on the boat. So typically we try to have the same person do the same job. So if you started up the boat, you're the one that shuts down the boat because if not, different things get turned on and turned off. So now, you know, we understand that if those aren't lit up, this little switch we turn on. So all we do is turn on our switch. You'll see that these come on. There's a little warm button right here. Just tap that warm button and it goes away. Warm just means that we could put the boat, it's like uh, pushing the gas pedal with your car in neutral. It revs up the engine so I could accelerate the engines and rev them up without the boat going in gear. That's what warm does. It basically locks the boat in neutral. If the warm is off, when I switch the gears, you can see that the little red light takes the boat from neutral into forward. So this is my right engine my left engine. In the nautical world, we call this port and we call this starboard, right? So we have both of these both of these controllers. Up and down is neutral. That's forward. That's forward. So both engines are now forward, moving forward. So this is a combination of transmission and gas pedal. So we push it forward. Now both engines are in gear at idle. So it's like you put your car in drive and you took your foot off the brake and the car just rolls. That's what the boat's gonna do. It's just gonna roll. If I wanted to push the gas pedal, all I would do would be to accelerate these levels levers forward. So because we run two engines at a time, we're always trying to get the, the RPMs or how fast the engine is running equalized. We have a little magic thing called a synchronizer. And the synchronizer does exactly what you would think it does. It synchronizes both of those engines. So with the engines in gear, I push the sync button, and now this one becomes passive, meaning that it does not allow me to accelerate. So that one can go forward, and this one now controls the gas pedal on both engines. So when you know, you're up top and you're talking, you know, and somebody says, oh, well, the sync is engaged, and you're like, well, okay. Or something happens and I need you to take over driving the boat. I need you to stop the boat. You need to understand that really all you have to do is take both of these and put it back into neutral. You notice when it went to neutral, the synchronizer went off automatically. It just turned off. Does that make sense? So Summer, I want you to reach up there and just take your starboard engine and I want you to go from neutral to forward. So that's going to go forward and then back to neutral and then back to reverse. And I want you to see what that does. So do that for me because I just want you to know what it feels like. Because when we're moving, it's not as comfortable to do this. But when we're just sitting here, I just want you to feel what that feels like. So you feel, right? And then neutral and now reverse. Now the same thing with the, put it back in neutral. And now the same thing with the port engine. Forward, neutral, 
and reverse and neutral. Okay, so if the boat was going down the waterway, right, we would probably have it in forward, we would probably have it synchronized, and probably have that one pushed forward, and this is the one that was accelerating to tell us how fast the RPMs were going. So if, I, if you needed to stop the boat, say we're going now down the waterway and we're cruising at 10 knots, and somebody says, no, no, stop the boat, what would you do? Sure. Oh, good, I, that's, a, that's a great question, <laughs> Tina. What we would do is pull both of those things back to neutral. Okay. So do that for me. Perfect. Perfect. That would stop the boat. That's how you stop the boat from having motion going forward. So now you've put the boat in neutral. If we needed to stop it faster, you would put it in reverse. That's really only in an emergency situation. We'd be going, oh, we gotta, you know, we've gotta really stop. We can't steer around. We gotta, you know, we gotta throw it into reverse. We rarely are gonna be in that kind of situation. But I just wanted you to see, okay, we're going along, and you know, for some reason, everybody jumped off the boat, and here's summer. I'm driving the boat, and how do I stop? Yeah. I I need to know how do I stop, right? So that's how we stop the boat. So Tina, I want you to do the same exercise. I want you to put, you know, starboard engine forward. Okay. There you go. Then neutral, then reverse. Now neutral. Same thing with the port engine. So I just want you to feel, you feel those little stops. Yep. You can feel those little indentations in those mm -hmm. controllers, right? Yep. Okay, so now I want you to put both engines forward. Okay. There you go. I want you to push the sync button. Okay. And I want you to push the port side forward, all okay. the way forward. Now push the starboard side halfway forward, okay. and that would be like the uh, like the typical scenario of the boat just running down the waterway. Okay. So the same scenario that we just had. I need Tina to stop the boat. What would you do? I would put them both in neutral. Correct. Right. Yep. So you see the green lights tell you what's going on, but right. I want you to feel there's a hard click. Yeah. There's an indentation that you feel. Mm -hmm. Understanding those throttles is paramount to the safety of the vessel because everybody on the boat i want to have a basic understanding of that you don't have to get it you don't have to understand i need the, this exact rpm for you know the optimal cruising speed no if there is an emergency i want you to be able to know what it feels like to put the boat in gear or take it out of gear because if if you know suddenly you're the only one on the boat and you need to get it to a dock i need you to be able to do that make sense yeah. okay so we've got that now we're going to go, obviously the wheel is the wheel, so it can turn, you know, both ways. Now what we're going to do is we're getting ready to start the engine. So here are the keys for both engines. We have a port engine and a starboard engine, so a left and a right. All we're going to do is turn on the key one click and let the engine gauges start to power up. So one click and you'll see that this engine gauge starts to light up. Now, just like any computer, we're letting it kind of warm up and go, okay, it's running through its system checks and it's trying to make sure that everything's all good. Now, all I'm going to do to start the boat is I'm going to turn this a little bit more as far as it'll go, just like starting a car. So I'm turning it, the engine's going to turn over and then you'll hear it, you know, it'll, it'll crank, just like if you were starting your car. You really, because we're inside, it's all enclosed, it's hard to hear because you're like, wow, that's pretty quiet. You're like amazingly. So what I want you to what I want you to feel is in your feet, in your tail. I want you to feel that engine turn over, and you can feel when it cranks up. That's how you know that the boat has started. So Summer, I want you to start this starboard engine. Turn it and hold it. Okay. Did you feel how you could feel it? Yeah. You you could feel it, and then when the boat started, you could feel. Oh, I, I felt that. So it's just being aware of that feeling because you can't really hear it. You go. Well, I, I heard something, but you know, but just understanding of what that is, I can feel that, you know, that vibration that starts up. All right, Tina, your turn. You can start the port engine now. Okay. Good. There it goes. So you can, you know, yeah. here it's so so quiet it because is. we're enclosed. You're like, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, I can hear that it started. The first things that I'm looking at here on the engine gauges. It, after I've started these engines, very first thing I want to pay attention to is oil pressure. All I'm looking is do I have positive oil pressure? Because the thing that would be really, really bad is if for some reason I didn't have oil pressure, that's the thing that causes the most problems with an engine. 
So I know that I have oil pressure, you know, the RPMs are starting to load up and you know, the temperatures will slowly start to come up. Right now they're at 91. And so we know now that the engines have started and we've started to get some oil pressure. All good from here. Make sense? So we went through the basic understanding of the Glendenny throttles, shifters, as well as just a basic startup on these CAT C18 engines. We'll be back in just a few minutes. We're gonna transition our way up to the upper helm and talk about how we take control of the throttles and the engines up top, and then start to engage our remote to get ready to leave the dock. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us at Everything Yachting. I hope you've enjoyed diving into the yachting world today. If you've enjoyed or learned something, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Until next time, my friends, healthy families, happy memories, and may fair winds and smooth seas guide your future yachting adventures.